on August 18th, a new comic book team is set loose on the big screen. However, the members of the Suicide Squad are not exactly the good guys. They are rather a bunch of mean villains who are being forced to do some good. They're bad guys. Worst of the worst. But who exactly are the members of the squad? That question will be answered in this video, in which we will introduce them to you individually. We're bad guys. It's what we do. Harley Quinn. As the lover of the infamous Joker, she is probably the most popular member of the group. Once known as Harleen Quinzel, she worked as a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum, where she fell hat over heels for the Joker. She soon assisted him in escaping and became his most loyal accomplice. How dangerous is Harley Quinn? In one word, very. Obsessed with the Joker, she is willing to do anything for him. Her insanity almost matches his. In addition to that, she also happens to be a marvelous fighter who uses pistols, baseball bats and even sledgehammers against her victims. Caution is advised when encountering this insane woman. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. The voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. Deadshot. Deadshot is another iconic character within the DC universe. Floyd Lawton, which is his real name, is an ice-cold mercenary and the best sniper who will murder anyone for the right price. He never misses his mark. Almost never. Batman once managed to dodge one of his bullets. How dangerous is Deadshot? Deadshot is not only dangerous because of his precision with firearms. Ever since he killed his own brother by accident, he stopped caring about his own life. This is why he willingly puts himself in mortal danger in order to complete his missions. Killer Croc. Waylon Jones grew up with a mutation, which made his skin and his entire appearance resemble that of a reptile. Due to genetic experiments, this condition increased drastically and one of Batman's most iconic villains gave the appearance of a crocodile that we all came to know. How dangerous is Killer Croc? He does not have the word killer in his name for nothing. Killer Croc is a brutal, untamable monster with superhuman strength, dangerous teeth and a nearly impenetrable skin. The only advantage an opponent might have is the fact that he is not necessarily the sharpest tool in the shed. Enchantress. During a costume party at an old castle, the artist June Moon discovered an old secret chamber in which the demon Zamor gave her magic powers in order to use them for the greater good. However, since Supergirl slightly pushed the moon into a different position, Enchantress became insane and stopped fighting the good fight. How dangerous is Enchantress? She is a powerful witch who uses dark magic against her enemies. Let's do something fun. Captain Boomerang. George Harkness is a very unusual villain. Very early on, he discovered his skills with a boomerang. At first, he displayed these skills as an artist, using the stage name of Captain Boomerang. However, he was ridiculed constantly, which is why he chose a criminal career instead. How dangerous is Captain Boomerang? Yes, the name doesn't really sound intimidating and he probably is fully aware of that himself. After all, he is more than skilled with his favorite throwing weapon. He took on the Flash before and has a huge arsenal of all kinds of boomerangs, including explosive and bladed ones. El Diablo. The first El Diablo was a man named Lazarus Lane, who was almost beaten to death by a gang of criminals, causing him to fall into a coma. After a shaman brought him back to life, Lane became a host for a demon, who gave him the ability to summon fire. The current El Diablo that we will see on the big screen is Cheto Santana, who encountered the old Lazarus at the hospital, whose powers then transferred over to Santana. After burning down an entire house in a rage against his enemies, he accidentally killed numerous innocent civilians as well. Filled with remorse, he turned himself in voluntarily. How dangerous is El Diablo? Plagued by a guilty conscience, El Diablo Diablo is literally a brooding chaos. <laughs> Slipknot. Slipknot has nothing to do with the rock band that goes by the same name. This Slipknot is actually the former chemist Christopher Weiss, who invented a chemical that made his ropes harder than steel. So as you can see, he clearly has some badass ropes. Um, yeah, maybe now you understand the reason why he's not the most popular DC villain. How dangerous is Slipknot? With his extremely strong ropes, he ties up, 
hangs and cords up everything and everyone that stands in his way. These are the villains of the Suicide Squad, but let us not forget about the masterminds behind the squad. The first person to mention is Amanda Waller. She is the one who put this team together in the first place. She's an uncompromising agent that rose to fame among her colleagues due to her actions, which happens when you force a bunch of bad guys into a team that fights for justice. In order for them to oblige, we also have Rick Flagg, who acts as a watchdog for the team. He is a skilled soldier with a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat experience. Since he does not possess any superpowers, he always has his bodyguard at his side, Katana. Katana used to be known as Tatsuya Mashiro. That changed ever since her husband and children were murdered by the Yakuza, prompting her to become a trained samurai. Aside from her incredible martial arts skills, she is also in possession of the so-called Soul Taker Sword, which has the ability to absorb the souls of all the people who were murdered with it. And that completes the team. You should not be surprised that we left out the Joker, because despite his appearance in the film, he is not part of the team. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. What do you think of the Suicide Squad? Which villain are you looking forward to the most? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then you might also be interested in a character breakdown of Black Panther. Or perhaps you're more into Doctor Strange? If so, check out these videos.